bacon. Let's go, baby. All right, so I am in the shop editing this footage from Bear Lake and realized that I did not make an intro video. Boy, y'all are in for a good one today. That's all I got to say about that. Man, dink fest galore, but we might have snuck out a check. So stay tuned, watch this deal, see how it goes down. And the craziest lightning you may have ever seen in a bass boat. just needs to be a 12 incher tonight let's see she might not even be a 12 incher let's see her mouth is closed oh we got a big one Henry you better not let him flip back in the water oh okay okay I hear you I hear you okay okay Oh my God, a giant just ate it and missed it. Oh no. I mean like a freaking pig. No. Oh, oh. that's another, another fish just ate it. God, there's two eat. Again, let's go, baby. Good one. Oh, or not. I saw him out there on the scope. Don't even know if he'll keep. Dang it. He'll keep. Oh, he's a thick little booger. Hopefully he goes 12. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jeez. Hopefully he goes 12. I saw him on the scope. Oh yeah. Uh, keeper number two. God, this place is just such a dink fest. He's actually a little thicker though. Praise the Lord. Golly. All right, now we need a giant. This is the same area that we lost the tournament last time dad and I fished it together up here when I pulled up and thrown out a jig. So, I mean, there's definitely fish get on you can see there's a lot of fish out here but there's a lot of grass and stumps out on this point so just trying to dial them in and throw this bait i saw that fish over top of a piece of grass and literally he went right over to it and ate it Hey, that might be a real keeper. Let's go. Let's go, Emery. That's a limit. That's a little limit. That one might actually be a 14er. How about it? Dang good and 14 and a half. <laughs> this is the good one. So we'll put him over here. And we'll auto fill that one now we got to figure out which one's the small one out of those two but i'm not going to worry about that quite yet i'll tell you something i'm doing and mind you i'm catching small fish but this works for bigger fish too i mean this is how joey cifuentes won on seminole and uh you know a lot of guys have done really well this year on the elite series and all over but it's casting a drop shot at fish that you're seeing on pan optics you know i'm seeing fish and these are just small ones suspended right there they might even be trout but I've been seeing fish, there's some grass here, but I've been seeing fish up there. And then I'll take this drop shot and throw it out at it. And they follow down and eat it. There's a couple good ones right there I just saw. All right, well, it's drizzling a little bit. There's a thunderstorm over there. It looks like it's gonna miss us, but there's this back pocket. I haven't seen anyone hit. It looks really good. I'm 
hoping we can make something happen late. It's uh, 8 o'clock, so we got an hour left. Ooh, some lightning out there. It's a coming. I thought it was going to miss us, but that looks like it's coming right for us. Biggin'? Oh my gosh. Got a good one. Let's go. What the heck? In the lightning. Let's go, baby. Sorry, homie. I'll let you choke on that thing. Oh. Sorry, bro, Sama. I think you're bigger than my other fish. <gasps> Let's go. I think you're probably one pounds and three ounces. Maybe even bigger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clear? clear whoa we got a big one heck to the yeah yeah now these two were identical so I don't think it matters That one might actually be bigger than the other one. Oh. Guys, that's coming at a pretty good pace. I want much to do with that. Whoosh. Yoink, Scoops. Oh, I got another good one. Oh, and he wasn't that good. Maybe they're starting to chew all of a sudden. probably just have a couple more minutes of filming I can see the the, the, uh, the mountain slowly start to disappear and feel a lot of wind coming and there's some big drops on its way so I'll put the camera down maybe I'll end up cashing a check in this thing I doubt it oh my gosh that lightning was right there ah this is kind of sketch YOLO all right so we are in the truck headed back to the house for the night. I'm really excited. Molly and Isaac have been out of town for the last couple days. Molly went to visit her sister down in Atlanta and Isaac got to go to his first Braves game and super cute video, but I've been missing them. I'm excited to go home, but uh, I put you guys away because it started downpouring. I got soaked and everybody got off the water and then I actually just put my rain gear on even though I know I'm soaked and that defeats the purpose. I was like, well, I'm cold, so I need to hold in heat. So uh, anyways, I put my rain gear on, went back out and ended up culling one time. I ended up having three fish for a whopping th 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 three pounds, 10 ounces. And it was good enough for third place. So we ended up having more boats. So we ended up paying three places. That means your boy made some money. Actually, <laughs> not very much money. And uh, yeah, if I do my math right, plus gas expenses, I ended up losing money. <laughs> but had a really good time. Uh, Merritt and Jesse ended up winning. And then uh, 
Brandon Campbell and Chance Mole. Uh, Jesse Mole and Chance Mole aren't related, but that's crazy. Maybe my last name needs to be Mole, and I'll do well on Bear Lake. But anyways, it's a dink fest. Everybody and their mama had some dinks. I think Jesse and Mary ended up having like four and a half pounds, and Big and Big Fish with like a two and a half pounder. But I'm telling you, that lake, I'm the lake has giants in it. I've caught giants before. You have seen on my channel giants caught on that lake. For whatever reason, though, summertime comes, it is terrible. But I don't know. I don't think I had my chance. I ended up seeing that fish that ended up eating my glide bait. And it, I now, listen, it might have been a two-pounder. But even still, I'd have had a two-pounder and two one-and-a-halves. I'd have had right around four and a half pounds. So, I get right there around the wind. But I still don't even know. I mean, you can always speculate. But... It don't really matter. Everybody loses fish, and that's just part of fishing. But I appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, I promise there'll be some more videos coming soon with some way better fish catching. But anyways, until then, I'm out. See ya.